In quantum electrodynamics, there is a problem. The problem can only be put right in a process called renormalization. This is a mathematical problem. The calculations for each coupling on a Feynman diagram are infinite. These infinities can only be cancelled out by renormalization. I believe we have these infinities not because there is something wrong with the mathematics of quantum electrodynamics, but because we have no fundamental understanding of time. Sir Isaac Newton thought time existed as a thing in itself, and that time is connected to motion. But if time exists in itself, there must also be a process creating new moments in time that are also moments of infinity. I believe each coupling on a Feynman diagram represents such a moment in time. And this is why we have the infinities that have to be cancelled out by renormalization. From each photon electron coupling, electromagnetic radiation will radiate out in light spheres of quantized wave fronts. When these wave fronts come in contact with electrons on the surface of other atoms, the wave function will collapse into new quantum particles in the form of a photon that will have its own position in time and space. There is then a quantum leap of energy, creating a new wave function of future possibilities. The best way to see this happen directly with light is in the double slit experiment. The light will expand in all possible directions as a wave particle function. When it reaches the screen with the two slits, the photon will react with the electrons of the screen. This will collapse the wave particle duality of the light, creating new moments in time and new quantum particles in space. The part of the wave that does not come in contact with the screen will expand in all possible routes, going through both slits as two light spheres of quantized wave fronts. Constructive and destructive interference between the waves will cause them to superimpose or cancel each other out. When this wave particle function comes in contact with the screen, it will collapse, creating moments of time and quantum particles in the shape of an interference pattern. When the observer tries to determine which slit a photon passes through, the interference pattern collapses. This is because to observe the photon, we have to create a photon-electron coupling, collapsing the wave function, creating a new moment in time and a new quantum particle in space. Just like in Newton's first law of motion, the interference pattern will continue to maintain its state unless acted upon by an external force. Any object that comes in contact with the particle wave function will collapse it. But because the observer can choose when and where to collapse the wave function, we have free will to create our own future. Time needs a static reference frame to move against. This is supplied by wave particle duality. Light or electromagnetic radiation is continuously creating a blank canvas for the observer that she or he can participate in. This is what Socrates called a sea of beauty. However insane this theory might sound, it can explain the paradoxes and weirdness of quantum mechanics. When the wave function or standing wave collapses, it will create a quantum particle in the shape of a photon. This photon will have a position in time and space that it never had before the wave function collapsed. Therefore we have a new moment in time and space. We have entanglement because light moves through space but not time as a wave particle function. The polarization of two photons will be set at the creation of its own expanding quantum particle wave function. This will remain the same however great the distance between them becomes because when their wave particle function collapses it will represent the same moment in time for both photons. Because this is a continuous process at the same speed that light moves, the expanding wave function of light between the atoms will always be a universal constant independent of the motion of the source. 
Therefore, if we look up at the stars, we can look back in time through light years of space. But if we look down into the atom, we can only see probability. We can never see the future because time is being created continuously at the quantum level. It is because each atom of our universe is creating its own time that the observ observer can look back in time through light years of space. The individual observer is the only true reference frame because we are creating our own time and space relative to our position and momentum. The uncertainty principle of quantum physics is the same uncertainty that the observer will have with any future event. The quantum particle will only have a position in time and space if the wave particle function collapses. If the observer does not collapse the wave particle function into a moment of time, the quantum particle will only have the momentum of its own wave particle function. At a fundamental quantum level, the observer is the observed within his or her own created space-time. Therefore, the more accurately we know the position of a quantum particle, the less certain we are of its momentum. And if we know its momentum very accurately, then we can't be quite sure of where it is. This is because to observe the quantum particle, we create a photon-electron coupling collapsing the particle wave function into a new quantum particle in space and a new moment in time that is part of the observer's own created space-time. This is very difficult to visualize, but in this oil painting of a geisha girl walking through sunlight, the wave-particle duality of the light will collapse as she walks through the rays of light. She will collapse the wave function into moments of time and space, creating her own space-time. It is because the observer is creating her own space-time that, that time seems so abstract and unreal. The mathematical infinities of quantum electrodynamics represent the infinity of our expanding universe in space and time, created by the continuous chain reaction of photon-electron couplings that Einstein called stimulated emissions. This theory is very simple but I think it is also very beautiful. In this theory we have the free will to create our own space and time within a dynamically evolving universe of Einstein, and quantum mechanics and classical mechanics of Newton are united 